Hi everyone! I wanted to share my new toy that is now available at Joann's. This model has been out for a while in black and white. Um, it's called the Canon Selfie. This is the CP910, which is the Wi-Fi enabled version. But what makes this one different is it comes in a really pretty color. <laughs> um, it comes in gold. Um, this is the special one that has been released specifically at Joann's in connection with Teresa Collins. So the top is gold and the bottom is white. Now I'll explain why I finally went and got this and why I didn't buy it in the beginning. So this might not be for everyone. It's not necessarily the most economical, but as far as the quality of photos, it's really beautiful. And the convenience of having it at home, especially for our family, is priceless. So that's why we went ahead and purchased this. The reason why is I told um, Jennifer du Ruiz here on YouTube um, that I was going to blame this on my daughter Sierra. She has been dying for one of those cameras, those Instax cameras, um, which are adorable, but each print, which is, you know, a pretty small Polaroid print, is about a dollar a piece and I know her and I just know she's going to want to print a bajillion photos so this was a good compromise between all of us because this is something all of us can use no matter what device we have she can use her iPod her iPad my other daughter can as well and then I'm on Samsung so I'm on Android and I can use this with Android, with my Note, or with my Galaxy Tab. So that's why we finally went in and did this one. Now if you buy the um, the paper from Canon, um, I got this one also on sale at Joann's. So this was about $30. And if you divide it out with the 108 sheets that come in it, it's about 23 cents a print. So it's going to average, you know, about 10 cents more per print than like Walgreens. My problem lately has been that my local Walgreens, one of them, my prints look too yellow. The other one, my prints look too green. So I really haven't been happy with a lot of the prints. And I love that I can really adjust the color to how I want it in my project life right here at home. So for me, this was worth it. And also for my daughter, she can make two of those little Polaroids for the price of 23 cents instead of a dollar a piece. So it ended up being a happy place for all of us and they're really excited. So today what I thought I'd do is please bear with me. I'm going to set this thing up on our Wi-Fi and step you through that as well on an Apple device as well as an Android device. So when you get it from the store and there's a ton of unboxing videos if you want more of the technical specs of this since it's been out for a while. So the only thing I'm going to show is what apps we're using on our phone and how we're setting it up. So here I unpacked the five sample sheets and so you'll see there's a glossy side and then the other side says Canon. So that's the back. So you'll put the glossy side up and just try not to put your fingers all over it. And I just flipped open the cassette and they just lay perfectly within that cassette. And then I close it but I leave this section open. So you close one flap but instead of closing the second flap you leave that one open for it to insert. Okay, so here's the pretty gold selfie out of the box. Now the plug is here on the back, so all I do is take my AC adapter, plug the other end into the wall, and put that right there. 
So because of how the printer tray comes out, you'll probably want to make sure your cord is going the other direction. I kind of have my plug in this particular location on the other side of me. So we'll try to keep it on this side so it doesn't interfere with the paper. Okay. So the nice thing about this is too, the screen comes up and it has the protective film. So we'll remove that. And we have our pretty screen. All right. So one thing I did learn, a tip from the other videos I watched, is every time you turn on this machine, it tends to run your ink slightly, um, almost like a test print. It doesn't run a te full test print, but it does move this film around. So the suggestion was don't put this in, this cartridge, until you have done all of your Wi-Fi settings first. Otherwise, this little bit of ink, there are five sheets that come with the sample and that come in the package with this ink. And if you want to be able to have five full photos, then you need to leave this out until you've already set up that. Otherwise, you can only print out about four photos um, and there won't be enough ink. So we'll see if that tip really holds true. I'll update you in a follow-up video if that really worked or not. So without putting the ink in, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Okay, no paper, no ink. I'm going to say OK for now. I want to click on Menu, Wi-Fi Settings, Connection Settings. So I just briefly want to show specifically which connection method I'm using. I'm using the VIA Wi-Fi network. I know several other tutorials show the direct connection where you can connect to device using the printer as a simplified access point. Um, but I really don't like that because I don't want to have to flip between my home Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi on this printer every time I decide to use the printer. So for me, I've cho chosen to use VIA Wi-Fi network. This is your router that you have at your home. So any internet connection that you're already using for your laptops, for your tablet, and for your phones to connect to your router at home, this is the one that you'll use. So via Wi-Fi network, click OK. And then it'll pull up the list. You'll click on search for access point. And here you'll find your home access um, point. So you'll know the name of your specific one. We have Verizon Fios and that's the name of our router. So I'm going to put that there. And then all you do is enter your password. And as once as you enter your password, it will find your connection and display um, which one you're connected to. I'm going to back out of this since I already set it up. It'll say connecting. It tells you you're connected to your home network. You click OK and it displays your home network right there and then you know you're all set and you don't have to keep switching between Wi-Fi networks to use your device. So for us, that's the one we chose to use because it was quick and easy on the devices. Um, if you already have a network where all your devices are printing to a printer um, and you have a cable internet type of router already, then this is going to be your best bet because then you don't have to worry about setting up your other devices um, because they're already connected here. So all we have to do now is open 
and to see if I'm connected what I'll do is I'll go to my Samsung so this is an Android device and I will click on Canon print now this is the new one that they have you download it used to be the EPP app but the app now is called Canon print inkjet slash selfie and this is the icon let me go back to it you'll see that icon in the Apple Store you'll also see that icon in the Google Play Store so whether you have Android or Apple it doesn't matter it's no longer the green icon this is what it looks like so click, click the plus sign to find the printer and since I'm connected to that network it found the printer on this network so all I do is click on the CP910 so I'm gonna leave it like that and I'm going to put selfie okay so now my phone is connected with this one so now I'll show it to you on an Apple device so here's my daughter's iPod okay let's see oh okay so here it is again there's that icon called Canon print so we're gonna click on that so same thing here it's going to be ask you the same steps just like it did on Android so you hit the plus sign and with AirPrint it found it immediately again because we're on the network so I didn't really have to do anything there were actually less steps on the Apple device than there was on the Android so I have one more to set up which is my other daughters so the same thing all her Instagram notifications are going off now so I'll click on that and again it already found the Canon CP910 so when you connect via your home network that's the most quick and painless way to set this up um, instead of setting up where you have to go in every single time on your phone and switch networks just to find the Wi-Fi signal of the printer you can do it that way but um, by doing it the way of finding your actual home network is a lot faster and a lot less set up so that's how I set ours up and that's how quick and simple it was so now that I have everything in there now I'll go ahead and add my ink and my paper tray so I'm going to close this up here and on the side you'll see it has this area is where we insert the ink So the tip is don't touch the yellow film and right here on top you'll see this arrow. That arrow needs to point in the direction of going towards your printer. So the arrow is on top and the, it says postcard 4 by 6 inches size is also on top. So all we have to do is slide it right in place, push it so that it clicks and then this little P appears on the screen showing that the ink is in and all we need now is some paper so again we had put our paper in here and again when you load your paper you flip this compartment twice and put it glossy side up when you're ready to print only press down on one of the covers the second cover stays open and then it just slides and it clicks and now it is ready to go 
So the apps that I have on my phone are the same ones that I also use on Apple. This one is an Android device and both of these apps are also available through the Apple Store. One is called PicFrame. That one's 99 cents and I also have Pick Collage. I think that one is a little bit more. Um, it might be like $1.99 but I was so used to using these on my Apple devices that I downloaded them from the Google Play Store and put it on my Android device as well. If you're looking for a free app that does collages on Android, you might want to try out Li Pix. I think um, due to memory, I'm probably going to delete that one so I don't have to worry about it being on here anymore um, since I predominantly use these others. So for example, today I'll choose Pick Frame and say I choose this one, you can see it defaults automatically to a square. But since I'm using a 4x6 to make two 3x4 photos, I want to change my ratio. So I'll go back and here I'll say ratio 3x2. Then I'll click it and now I have two photos on one 4x6 picture. So let me go grab my pictures real quick. Okay, so on here I removed the border so that these are 3 by 4 and I can just cut it right down that line um, after I print it out so that it can go into my project life. So how I do that is I click the share button, maximum resolution so that I have the best possible um, resolution that I can with that photo. Then I exit out of that and I click on my Canon print, I click on photo print, and I can go in and select that image that I just made. So there it is. So that's the print preview. Okay, so now I've selected one image and it shows a check mark and it shows um, that one image is selected. So now I'll click print. I chose borderless. When I click on preview it shows it just fine. So we'll click print and we'll see what happens. Now those colors came out stunning and that's what I was talking about that so many of the photos now are on our digital devices and these cameras are getting so good on our phones that we can print just directly from them and this image it's not yellow it's not blue it is perfection. Okay so in here I'm using the Pic Collage app and I've selected the two photos. I was able to edit the coloring. Um, for example, in this one right here, I just wanted the coloring to be a little lighter, so I've already edited that. And now I can crop it, and then I click Done. So when I do that, I don't usually use this Print button. Maybe I can, but I don't. I click Save. You gotta love apps, right? They put ads at you all the time. So that is now saved into my gallery. So now I can click on Canon, Photo Print, and now I'll go down and I'll select that last photo. And if you click on it, It lets you preview it. There it is. It'll let you see the preview. So that's what it's going to look like when it prints. So then I'll go back and you'll see down here again it says one image and all I do is click print. So I'm keeping the borderless option. This isn't how it looks. Again if you're a little scared just click on it and look at it one more time before you print it. 
Um, I do the borderless option. Mine will have a border because that's how I exported it out of Pit Collage. And then all I have to do is click print. Okay, so now it has printed out and it is so crisp and clean. And all I have to do is snap off the two edges. And then I can take this to my paper trimmer and just trim off that center section. And I will put these on my four by six cards in my Project Life. The color is just amazing. You really have to see it in person and it's not grainy at all. Um, of course that's all going to depend on the resolution of your photo that's coming from your device um, as well as how much you have zoomed in. So mine are pretty clear. I cannot complain. Um, and the less um, messing with the photo that you do within the apps the clearer your photo will be. So I hope you enjoy setting up yours. Again the gold edition is exclusive to Joann's um, through Teresa Collins. Um, it's on sale this week. I don't know how long that sale is through. Um, I think it's $89.99 and then they applied a coupon towards it as well. Um, so I'm going to say it was close to $80. And then the paper, they also applied another coupon to that. So hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.